I thought I'd show what is in a transformer by building a simple transformer for demonstration purposes only. This is not going to be a very efficient transformer or useful transformer, but it will work. And we'll talk about why it's not very efficient a little later. And here I have completed the winding and all it is is just two levels. All I did was wind it all the way down to the far end and then all the way back again. And this is what the electronic symbol looks like for this part of the transformer. All we have is a metal core, which is the wrench in this case, and the primary winding. Here I have hooked up the primary to an alternating current source. It's only about a little over one volt, but it's at 250 milliamps. And that buzzing that you hear is because the magnetic field is alternating back and forth also. Now I have wound a secondary coil over the primary. And this is what it looks like in a schematic or electronic diagram. You can see the primaries on the left the iron core in the middle, which is the wrench in this case, and the outer winding is the secondary. Let's take a look at the uh, input and the output of this transformer. I've got the meter to read AC volts. Now I'm going to go across the primary, the input, and we've got about 1.3 volts. And here's the secondary. Across that, we have about 1.1 volts. Here's the diagram of the transformer again. And this is what the primary and the secondary looks like on an oscilloscope. The primary is at the top and you can see that the primary is just slightly higher in voltage than the secondary. And part of the reason for that is I'm using a solid core which is uh, introducing quite a bit of loss in this particular transformer design. Now I have wound another coil over all the other coils which is another secondary coil and not as much wire. This is what the diagram for that transformer looks like now. We've got a primary and two secondaries. The upper secondaries has more wire than the lower secondary. Okay, let's read some voltages on this transformer. Across the primary, we have about 1.3 volts. And our primary that has the most wire it reads about 1.1 volts and then the primary with the least wire it reads about 0 0.26 volts. Here's the diagram again for this transformer 
and I put the secondaries on the scope. The top one is the secondary with the most wire and of course the bottom is with the least wire. I forgot to mention earlier that the primary and secondary were out of phase. But here, notice that both secondaries are in phase. And that's because I have wound all the coils in the same direction on my transformer core of a wrench. Now I had mentioned earlier that this core is not really efficient for several reasons. It's not very big. Also it's one solid piece of metal. And because of that, even though I've got one volt at 250 milliamps, it gets a little warm. It's not hot, but it is warm. And that's due in part to eddy currents that are flowing in the core. And these eddy currents are stealing some of the energy that I want to get to the coils. So in other words, the eddy currents are making this transformer inefficient. Here is a power transformer. And this is a closer look at the core of the transformer. This transformer configuration is like this. It's an E-type and the coil would go around the center part of the E. It's made on a form and this part of the core would slide into the coil and then they'd close the other side like this. Now I'm not going to show the coil so you can see how the core is built. Now we have one lamination that is slid into the coil. We have another configuration that's going to be used and we'll call the left one front and we'll call the right one the back. Now this back would also be the E part would be slipped into the coil put behind the front and closed. And then we'd have another front, another back, another front, and another back, and so on. All these laminations are insulated from each other with a varnish coating or some other type of insulating material. What that does is it reduces the eddy currents and makes the transformer much more efficient. Here's another look at the completed core for this power transformer. I'll remove the color to black and white and it makes it easier to see how this core was constructed. Notice the thickness of the laminations. Here is an audio transformer. And here's a closer look at its laminations. You can see a pattern here that it's to one way and then to the other way. But I also want to point out how much thinner the laminations are for this audio transformer. And it's not because it's a smaller transformer. The laminations are thinner because that helps to improve the frequency response of this 
audio transformer. The thickness of the power transformer, that's just 60 cycles. But this audio transformer has got to cover a much wider range of frequencies. So they make the laminated core, the laminations, thinner. Thanks for watching.